Warning, do not end up wasting your hard-earned money on buying organic certified meats. And now you may be wondering, what, what is he talking about? All of these companies out there say that organic meat is definitely way healthier than the standard meat you get in shops normally that is not certified organic. But guess what? It's just a marketing hype. They just want to put that organic certification on there, get you to believe it's better for you, and then charge you a lot more money for it when necessarily it isn't that much better than your standard factory farmed non-organic meats and i first want to explain to you because a lot of people don't know what you need to have usda organic certifications on your meat to actually sell them to the public as so so first off with cattle more specifically cows in case anyone doesn't know what that is, obviously most people do. When you get organic certification by USDA, the cattle must be fed for the first four months of their lives on pasture-raised land where they are being fed pretty much only grass. So then, yeah, that sounds really good. Obviously, that is a very good thing because that is the best food for them to eat that they are designed for. But guess what? That's just four months. How long? do they normally live for before they are slaughtered? Normally 18 to 22 months. So that's anywhere from 14 to 18 months of their remaining life that they are then fed what? Well, they can be fed things such as organic corn, organic soy, and organic grains. So yeah, just because it says organic, it doesn't mean that they'll be fed a natural diet that is designed for them that will make it the most nutrient dense possible and the healthiest for you and the most least negative impact meat that you could buy on the market. And yes, it does also mean that it's free from antibiotics and hormones and that animals should be granted some outside space outside space and they shouldn't be confined and all just squashed into like a factory where they're all just squashed in left right and center but this is a very loose term with this because from the research that i've looked into after those first four months they're not necessarily free roaming in the best environment most hours of the day. You can do some more research into that if you want to. So the majority of their diet for their lifespan, they're eating the majority of the same foods that non-certified organic animals and the meat that they provide to be sold in the shop for you to eat. Yes, it is organic grains and soy and corn but it's still not good for the animals, it's not good for you, and it's not good for the planet. But when you compare it to pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished beef, well, guess what? They're always eating grass, and they are never fed any grains, corn, or soy in any way, shape, or form. So that's obviously the best thing to be doing. It doesn't mean just because you've got organic certification that they're following the best farming methods with cattle and livestock out there. So yeah, you really need to make sure you're informed on this as much as possible. So yeah, you end up paying so much on the organic food, they're not feeding them the best diet their whole lives. And then you think you're getting the most best meat possible when you're not. And instead you could take that money and go and buy pasture-raised meat which is normally going to be around the same price as organic meat. So then let's look into the nutritional comparison to pasture-raised meats. So pasture-raised cattle, for example, have two to three times more of CLA, which is a very essential fatty acid for us to be as healthy as possible. It has been proven through scientific research to reduce your risk of getting cancer, reduce the risk of getting cardiovascular disease and a whole host of other amazing benefits. And then there's also been research to show that the pasture-raised cattle have more vitamin A, more vitamin E, 
vitamin K2, way more omega-3 and less omega-6, which so many people have an excess of omega-6 in their diet and not enough omega-3, which causes chronic inflammation throughout the whole body, which will cause a whole host of different health issues mentally and physically, holistically. So that's the nutritional aspect. And then it's on to the environmental impact. You need to think, well, okay, where are they normally getting the grains and the corn and the soy from, even if it's organic? It's normally obviously coming from the agriculture industry, which is growing these things on a mass production level in monocrops, which that has such a negative effect on the soil and also the environment. And yes, this is an issue even with organic foods, with the foods that I've specifically mentioned. And in comparison to pasture-raised land that is not messed around with is not going to have the most nutrient rich soil possible and then the food the animals eating is not the most nutrient rich and then the animals that you're eating which you're having their meat is not going to be as nutrient rich as possible and the last thing i want to focus upon is just organic certification as a whole whether it's with meats vegetables fruits or with whatever food out there different companies will have different levels of criteria that you have to follow to get their organic certification and from what i'm aware of usd certification is one of the worst type of organic certification that you can get out there and i'm someone that used to work on an organic farm many many years ago so you can you still use many different pesticides on an organic farm that have been proven to be highly toxic to us and have a negative effect on our health holistically and not be good for the environment. So so many people end up wasting so much money on organic produce and think that it's really clean and free of all pesticides when this isn't necessarily true. So even if you're getting it organic certified, they're still gonna be getting a lot of pesticides and other things that you don't want in your food whatsoever, which would be the meat. And when you compare it to pasture land, and they're not using all of these pesticides and other garbage on the organic produce that I just mentioned, then it's gonna be a way cleaner food source for the animals that are eating, which livestock that are on that land are eating. And you can do so much more research into this subject. It's about being as aware as you possibly can because so many times companies out there just wanna charge you a lot of money for something just because it's gluten-free or it's vegan or it's organic or it's paleo or it's keto-friendly or this or that or that. So yeah, just try and be as informed as you possibly can by listening to certain people such as myself that are sharing the truth on this subject. And yeah, one last thing, I mentioned this briefly earlier on, just because something says it's grass fed doesn't mean it's grass finished. It can be as dodgy as the organic meat out there. They could be fed grass for a period of time for their life and the rest of the time they could be fed grains out there. And you may be wondering, well, why do they feed them? Grains. I think it's really important for me to make you aware of this in case you are not because it fattens them up so by making them bigger there is more meat for the companies to then sell and then they make more money so that is the only reason why they do it is to maximize their profits and I can understand why but as I mentioned earlier on it's not good for many different reasons so if you've got any questions or comments leave them down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so as always stay happy stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day peace